Hello and welcome back to another lecture on syntax. In a previous lecture, we spoke about one type of structural relation, which was dominance. In this lecture, we talk about another type called precedence. Stay tuned. Now we can talk about the notion of precedence. Precedence generally means that you show up before something else. So, for example, if we were to look at this tree and take it like a normal English sentence going from left to right, which one comes first? Does D come first or E? So, again, picture this was some actual words like the nice car. Which comes first, the or nice? Of course, the comes first, then nice. Now, one type of precedence is called sister precedence. And basically what that means is that, first of all, we have to look for some sisters. So let's take, for example, J and K. J and K are sisters because they share one mother. Now, which node precedes the other? J precedes K because J is to the left of K and they share the same mother. Does G precede H? Yes, it does because G is to the left and G and H share the same mother, which is C. Does I precede H? No, because I is not to the left of H. F precedes J, because F is to the left of J. But not only that, we have to be very careful here. But the mother of F, which is B, also precedes the mother of G, which is C. This is very important because sometimes when we draw trees, we become very sloppy. So one person might draw the tree like this. Now in this case, in this sloppily drawn tree, we ask the same question. We're still going to say that F precedes G. Even though it looks here at the bottom that G is the one that precedes F. But it only looks that way because we drew the tree very sloppily. So what we're going to do to make sure that something precedes something else is to look at the mother of each one. So the mother of G is C and the mother of F is B. Now let's look up here. Which one precedes the other one? It's clear that B precedes C. Therefore, F precedes G. Great. So D precedes E. E precedes F. Also, E sister precedes F. D sister precedes E and F. But none of these sister precede G because they're not sisters in the first place. So F, F precedes G. But F does not sister precede G because they're not sisters. They are of different mothers. The last type of precedence we want to talk about is called immediate precedence. So X immediately precedes Y if there is no node Z which intervenes between the two. It's very important here to understand that sister precedence is not the same as immediate precedence. So if we have node A, node B, and node X, A immediately precedes B. But in this case, A does not immediately precede B because X is in the way. So let's see the difference now between sister precedence and immediate precedence. F and G. F does not sister precede G. Actually, let's look at all of these relations. F precedes G. We know that because B precedes C. But F does not sister precede G, and that's because they are from different mothers. They're not sisters in the first place. But F immediately precedes G because there's nothing in between them. Let's look at H and I. H immediately precedes I because nothing intervenes, and also its sister precedes it, and it precedes it. So then in this case, all three are correct. All right, so to wrap up, in this lecture, we talked about some structural relations. We talked about domination and we talked about precedence. 
In the next lecture, we take a look at a few more structural relations, like C command and its different types. And we also look at some grammatical relations that exist. See you in the next lecture.